Wiring of an instant shower head should be taken with a lot of caution and emphasis because this is a very important installation in any electrical wiring, whether it is the house wiring or a business premise. For an instant shower head installation, the size of the cables must not be anything less than 4 mm square in terms of the diameter of the conductors that will be used. The first most important wire in that installation is the earth connection. The second one is the live or the face and the neutral connection. Smash that like button so that I know that you are at par. The second most important concept of this installation is the nothing connection. Another important tip for the instant shower head installation is to ensure that the wire run from the consumer unit to the double pole switch and it shouldn't have any joint. And then from the double pole switch all the way to the instant shower head connection, the wire must not have any joint, meaning the wire should be continuing. Now, to begin with, we'll connect our wires from the consumer unit to the double pole switch. Again, we will use the draw wire. So, push and pull. Push and pull. At the consumer, I can have someone push as I pull at the double pole. Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull until we have it at the double pole. At the double pole, I will give it an allowance like so, or I can even extend further uh, like so. We also don't want to have a lot of wires here because Again, it will be difficult to mount that double pole switch. So that is what we will have there. So again, at the consumer, it is important to give an allowance because of future repairs. So I will cut like that, cut like that. We are still not done with the instant shower head. We need to connect the wires from the double pole to this point here where the shower head will tap its power. It is important to take note of the wires that I'm connecting from the double pole switch all the way to the instant shower head connection. There will be a neutral, an earth connection and a live connection. So I will insert them like that. Going to, to this point here, I don't need as steel tape and then when it gets to where the shower head will be connected I still need to give it a better allowance that will ensure that number one these wires will get to the point where the shower head will be connected and still elongate the wires because of future maintenance work because remember a shower head can be replaced and with the replacement there may come a time whereby these wires will be cut to create fresh connections or joints. And because the wires will be reduced, it is important when doing the installation to give a good allowance like that. Assuming the pipe is coming to uh, this point here, you can give such an allowance or even more. The same applies at the DP switch or the double pole switch whereby in future there can be repairs or replacements and this wire will be cut meaning it will be reduced. So you don't just leave something a little, you give it an allowance for that and then cut. See you in the next one. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss that episode.